Hi dear students, welcome to the English class. And in this class of video today, we are going to talk about a very beautiful poem that is the table turner. The table turner was a poem which was written by the a romantic poet of English literature, William Wordsworth. And William Wordsworth is widely called as the romantic poet because he started romantic movement along with his friends Samuel Coleridge and they both published lyrical ballad in the year lyrical ballads in the year 1798 and he is also known as nature's poet and we can call him as a romantic poet and this is all about the poet William Wordsworth William Wordsworth was a romantic poet because he started a romantic movement in English literature along with his friends Samuel Coleridge and they published they published lyrical ballad in the year 1798 okay and this is the first poem which was published in lyrical ballad in 1798 and here i have prepared two stanzas so from the a poem the table turned and this is also very very beautiful poem and here in this poem william wordsworth is suggesting his friends and this poem is william wordsworth dedicated this poem to his friends and he asked him to leave the books and he asked him to focus the nature which he gets from so that that is a poem so that here William Wordsworth turned the tables and started asking his parents see let me read the poem first up up my friend and quit your books once again up up my friend and quit your books or surely you will grow double up up my friend and clear your looks why all this toil and turmoil so this is the very first stanza of the poem the tables turner so here up up my friend and quit your books here william wordsworth is asking actually this is a dedicated poem to his friend this this poem was dedicated to william wordsworth the friends and william wordsworth asked his friends to get up to get up from the studies here up up my friend is asking his friends to get up and quit all your books so he asked his friend to quit his books or unless he quit his books what would happen or surely he will grow double that means you will get some sort of problems you will get some sort of toil or up up my friend and clear your looks so he asked his friends not to look at the books and because so why all this toil and turmoil so he asked his friends so what is so why are you getting some problems off from the books so there is no that much of knowledge in the books and comparing to the knowledge which we can get from the books is not uh, more than the knowledge which we get from the nature because william wordsworth as we already discussed that is a nature's poet and also a romantic poet here the word romantic in the sense of one who loves nature one who enjoy the beauty of the nature is a, is a romantic romantic poet so the two this is a dedicated poem dedicated poem he asked his friends to to quit all his education to quit to getting knowledge from the books because the knowledge which is included in the book is not more than the knowledge which we get from the nature because he believes that nature is filled with the knowledge nature is filled with the knowledge and which is more than the knowledge which we get from the books so that is all about first friends so up up my friends see and quit your books and another important thing is or surely you will grow double up up my friend and clear your looks why all this toil and trouble so he is asking his friends so why do you get troubles why do you get to uh, toil why do you get to hard work by 
focusing more on the books you better quit your books immediately so that uh, william wordsworth uh, turned the tables uh, and he is asking his friends to get up from place uh, where his friend was sat and now coming to the second one is here and so as william wordsworth is asking his friends to quit uh, from the books uh, so besides uh, he is saying the importance of nature in our life is so what is the importance of our nature is and he is asking that uh, nature is the first to teach her he told his friends that uh, nature is the first to teach her so that uh, he asked his friends uh, and he explained the importance of uh, friend uh, so by saying that here the the sun above the mountain said a freshening luster will of see when you see uh, when you see the rising of the sun when you see his sun rising how beautiful the sun rising is a freshening luster below here see when you look at this sun rising a beautiful uh, color is there and there, there is a glow in the light of the uh, sun when it is rain it is uh, uh, shining and here through all the long green fields have spread here the sun rays a beautiful sun rays are the glow or the uh, beautiful light from the sun rays has spread through the all the green long fields green fields how beautiful the scenery is when sun spread sun spread its rays to through the all the green fields how beautiful the green fields are so that is what uh, here the william wordsworth is trying to explain the importance of nature in everybody's life and the knowledge which we get from the nature is far more better than the knowledge which we get get from the books and here this first sweet evening is yellow when you look at the sunset how beautiful both the sunrise and sunset and this is how important the nature in our life is because according to the william wordsworth nature is our first teacher because nature teaches us many things in our life so the knowledge which we get from the nature is very very important because it is a real knowledge and it is a real wisdom and it is full of knowledge so the nature is filled with a lot of happiness so that uh, william wordsworth here is requesting william wordsworth here is asking his friends to quit from the books to leave the books because uh, from from getting knowledge from the books is completely full of uh, trial and turmoil full of problems so that uh, it is not as much as the knowledge which we get from the nature so that here so by saying by asking him to quit books meanwhile he is saying the greatness he is explaining the greatness of nature to his friend right now it is another stanza third stanza so in third stanza so let us talk about books this a dull and endless try come hear the woodland linnets how sweet is music on my life there is more wisdom in it and and hark how blithe the trojan sings he to is no means a preacher come forth into the light of the things and let nature be your teacher so this is this stanza is completely all about the nature the importance of nature in our real life is see you know generally in these days generation or the students of uh, modern age they particularly focus on their books and they spend too much time by studying books they spend too much time sitting alone in the uh, room restricted rooms but they don't want to come outside to enjoy the beauty of the nature but here william wordsworth is asking his friends to come outside and to come out sir and to have some time in nature because nature is filled with the knowledge and the knowledge which we uh, get from the books is not more than important more important than the knowledge which we get from the nature see here books this a dull and endless try so here there is nothing in the books is saying that it is a strike it is a struggle endless struggle 
so books are just like endless troubles and when you read books so automatically you get some sort of troubles you feel some sort of a toil and a turmoil so that he is asking to quit the books immediately because to go through the books is endless strife endless struggle and here is asking him to come come here come here the woodland lineage see lineage is a small bird which sings melodiously which sings so beautifully and here woodland lineage to say what is what do you mean by the word woodland a land which is full of trees of oh, a land which is full of woods woods in the sense of trees so here william wordsworth is asking his friends to come to come forward to come into the nature to let go into the nature and hear the beautiful music of the woodland lineage so how beautiful the music of the how beautiful of how beautifully the woodland lineage sings and how sweet his music is on my life actually he has learned many things from the nature so that he felt the beauty he felt the uh, sweetness of the music from the woodland lineage so that he asked his friends he suggested his friends to get all the books and come forward to listen to the beauty of the nature to look at the beauty of the nature and to listen to the all the melodious songs of the different kinds of birds like linnet and there is more wisdom in it so whatever the song whatever the music that linnet bird produces uh, that woodland bird produces so has more knowledge more wisdom in it so that uh, he is asking his friends actually this is a dedicated poem to his friends so that uh, william wordsworth asked his friends to come forward and uh, he asked them to get into the nature and to know to get more knowledge from the nature because it is more valuable than the knowledge which we get from the books another and hack the place and hack here and hack in the sense of pay your attention so pay your attention towards what here you pay your attention how blithe do how blithe do how happy the trozens sings trozens is also a name of the bird a name of the small bird uh, which lives in uh, foreign countries so trozen is also a name of the bird which lives in foreign countries and it also sings so melodiously how blithe do how blithe the music of the trozens sings so that here an act so pay the attention towards the beautiful music of the uh, throsil how happy the song of the throsil is so that he is explaining the importance of nature in everybody's life so the important of things which are in the nature the importance of the animals the importance of the birds and how beautifully they sing so he is trying to explain the importance of nature to his friends in order to divert him from the books to the nature because we we, we have already discussed that the modern students are completely modern citizens are completely monotonously mechanized they just wanted to run after the time they don't have a time to spend in the nature so that here he suggested him to step into the nature to enjoy the beauty of the nature and to get more knowledge from the nature and coming to the see he he here what does he refers to he refers to the trozel trozel is the name of the bird which lives in foreign countries right he too is no means a preacher preacher in the sense of one who preaches something one who teaches some good things in our life is a preacher one who preaches something one who teaches you something a more valuable so that here who is a preacher according to the william wordsworth the throsil the throsil bird the name of the bird is throsil the throsil bird is no means a preacher because it teaches us many valuable things through his singings and another thing come forth come forward he is asking his friends come forth into the light of the things he just asked his friends to come uh, come into the light of the things uh, and he just asked his friends uh, to know the value of the things uh, to know the wisdom of the things uh, in the nature and let uh, nature be your teacher and finally already we discussed that uh, nature is our first teacher nature teaches us everything in our life so nature provides us everything in our life so so that uh, he asked his friend 
टू हैव ए नेचर एज टीचर he asked so let nature be your teacher so that he asked that he suggested that nature is a great teacher so that he asked his friends to accept nature as his teacher so this is all about uh, the third stanza and he is saying that books is endless traps because there is nothing in the books the knowledge he, which he get from the books is not uh, more value than the knowledge Uh, it is the knowledge of the books are limit and and you know when you get to when you get into the circle of the nature we may get a lot of knowledge we may get a lot of uh, wisdom so that is uh, more enough for any man and another important thing is that he is asking his son, uh, friend to step into the nature to spend some to- sort of time to spend some time under the in the nature because nature is our first teacher nature teaches us many things in our life so that here ultimately this is a dedicated poem to his friends and this is all about to first stanza second stanza and third stanza and this is the third stanza and in the first stanza itself poet asked his friends to keep the books and because from the books he is going to get some sort of toil and turmoil and second and third stanza he completely talks about the importance of nature in one's life and importance of knowledge that everybody gets from the nature uh, this is all about class and we shall continue the rest of the paragraphs in the next class thank you all of you if you like this video please subscribe our channel rk media thank you all of you. thank you very much